The truth behind Paradox Crypto Scam. Yep, I think this is the one. Okay. I'm kind of excited. I think Paradox Crypto is a scam. Yes. I'm going to talk about what's happened over the last few days, and you guys can make your own decision. We wanted to do something that has never been I did. Business. The answer is yes. Integrate Web2 Marketing with Web3. As part of our marketing campaign, we collabed with over 90 key opinion leaders. Some of these include YouTubers, streamers, Instagrammers, and also TikTokers. One of them being iShow Speed. You've probably seen the video clips going around all over social media, where short 15 to 20 second video clips are going around, misconstrued into a way that makes it look like iShow Speed promoted a crypto scam. Uh, well, we've got our first inaccuracy here, because the stream was two and a half hours of shilling for a crypto scam. Those clips, those are just like some goofy moments. That's not like the entirety of what people are basing it on. The whole thing is a scam. So like the whole stream promotes the scam. Two and a half hours worth, not just 15 seconds. We want to nice audio. Oh yeah. I don't know why I recorded this like shit here. I'll boost it over here. I don't know. Can you hear him now? Take a minute of your time so we can explain to you exactly what happened in this live stream and the false rumors that are being spread about ourselves and I show speed with factual proof, evidence, and no hearsay. In the YouTube live stream video that we done with iShow Speed, we wanted to make this stream as entertaining as possible. As you can see, we succeeded. As you can see from the <laughs> screenshots, we had a 92.3% success rate of people liking the stream. 43 minutes into the video, we had an average 40,000 viewers. That's comments just speed. Wise, we had around five to 10,000 comments. We had two huge spikes. The first one being when we introduced fake Ronaldo into the stream, which was hilarious as all of his fans have always wanted him to meet Ronaldo. Yes, there's certain aspects of the live stream that got a bit out of hand, but guys, you need to understand one thing. We are just as much of a fan of Aisha Speed the same way you guys are. He's a very positive and energetic guy that literally lit up the whole room. <laughs> what you guys need to understand is for 43 minutes... What does it have to do with anything? He's going to make the claim that these two spikes... Oh, fuck, where'd they go? He's going to make the claim that these two spikes were when bots came in to say L scam. But what he fails to realize is the reason there's these spikes is because more people decided to type L scam when they realized how shady, shitty, and dog shit this whole thing was. It's not bots. These, these clowns have been very vocal about it being bots that were saying scam. Nobody else, everyone else loved it. Like the actual people with a the pulse, they loved it. Everyone saying that it was a scam is a bot. They can't wrap their head around no... People just realized it was a fucking scam. We had two huge. So that's points. why he's showing that because he's gonna make that we claim. Are just as much of a fan of Aisha Speed the same way you guys are. He's a very positive and energetic guy that literally lit up the whole room. What you guys need to understand is for forty three minutes we were showcasing our brand, talking about the paradox crypto, showing the game. Everything was entertaining. We had fake Ronaldo. Everything was fine. No comments suggesting that we are a scam. It was just W's in the chat all the way around. What happened next? That's just because of speed. Again, the reason there were W's in the chat is because it was a speed stream. And everyone spams W's in the chat for speed. But the more that you went on about Paradox Metaverse, the more obvious it became that this is all just shilling for a dog shit crypto scam. So then people started saying, L scam. You started making calls to action for Paradox Metaverse to go follow the Twitter account, the playing the game. So it made people more aware of it and then starting to type more for it. It's caught us all by surprise. This is when the first cyber attack happens. It's this not a fucking cyber attack. Me. Holy shit, this guy's talking like Jack Bauer at CTU. The fucking terrorists came in and ruined everything. Christ. After the four minute attack, all the comments went down, as you can see here. Guys, this is very unusual. It's no. clear to see that he was botting. You know what else would cause a spike like this? Let's say Speed went on stream, everything's normal like this, and then he he fucking beat a man to death in cold blood. There would be this huge spike then too, and it wouldn't be bots. It would people say, holy shit, what the fuck? L Speed? Murder? Like, it'd, it'd have a spike then too. The reason the spike happened is because you had more egregious calls to action like following the Twitter, so people started putting out that it is a fucking scam and this is shady. It's 
clear to see that he was botted. No, <laughs> Christ. They said. In case you guys don't know what a bot is, a bot is a service that you can acquire by paying a small fee of only up to ten dollars that would mass bot and mass message into a live stream the same word. Mm. Elf chain scam. Fast as they came is as fast as they went. They lost six minutes in total, and then it went back to the normal, real comments. Some were following the chain and spamming. We ain't gonna say that. It wasn't because it clearly was. However, the yeah, average it's... viewers went back to 40,000 and the comments went down. That's when the second attack happened. At 51 minutes, 72,157 messages, all repeating the same thing. You can clearly see this is a botted attack. No. Nope. What guys didn't realize is that anybody that was watching that live stream, they started falling for it. They started thinking, okay, somebody knows something we don't. So started pushing out the narrative that this, this is, is so embarrassing. Even as like a paradox buyer, like the community for paradox meta, you have to see this and you have to be having your red flags go off. Like this has to trigger your own red flags to see that your CEO is so weak and so insecure that he's writing these things off as bots in pure delusion and cope, calling it an attack. Like in the crypto space, you have to be smarter than that. Like, you would know the bare minimum about how shit works. What he should have done is just say, the, the speed audience wasn't ready for it, they didn't see the vision, so they all thought it was a scam. And you know what? We missed the mark. Now they all think we're a scam. But we're not. But he's not doing that. Instead, he's placating, he's putting this on some invisible enemy that doesn't exist. It's not bots. Now he just looks really weak to even his own community. He looks so insecure. actually decided you know what this is actually fun let's troll the person we look up to the most that we tune into every single day uh the guilt trip entertains us from Our classic box or anything in return let's troll it let's carry on doing this so while this is happening i get a message i'm off camera and it's from hobie global one of our partners an exchange that we are getting listed on they are worth 40 billion dollars on average they have one billion dollars worth of trading volume every single day so when they message you and say, why is everybody on Aisha Speed Live saying you're a scam? Trust me, you start to panic. Because at the end of the day, labeling a crypto project a scam is very detrimental. It can cause a lot of stress to the project. Uh, what you're seeing now is the encrypted uh, audio true. the unmuted mic situation. Guys, please listen very carefully. It's very important. Our crypto exchange is worth $40 billion. It's a picture saying, why is Aisha Speed comment saying scam? Guys, what you have just heard is the aftermath of being completely botted. Scam. 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 A company worth $40 billion. Uh. Why is everyone saying you're a scam? Me then saying, I have invested $10 million of my hard earned money. I've worked so hard for what like what is that even supposed to prove? You still believing it's bots, refusing to accept the reality of things that people see through this garbage. Like th this doesn't prove anything on in your innocence. It doesn't. All this proves, and if you played it longer, is that you asked Speed to shut it down. He you asked if he could disable the chat. So you're taking away the people's voice. Which makes you look bad and goes against your fucking uh, stances on things. Like, if you played it further. Like, it doesn't prove anything anyway, even if you take out that part. It is not evidence. It's nothing. It's literally nothing. Into this project. Into this business. And the fact that I'm going to lose it all because everybody is labeling it a scam. Yeah, well, at least you still have your stupid fucking university. Like, you have plenty of other scams that you can hustle on too, man. Like, you don't need your sob story. 10 million to you is nothing. You made a whole video with money kicks showing off your rented car collection. Like, you have plenty of money. Like, you are you got a ton of other ventures that I'm sure you can pull from. At no point did anyone say we are going to scam anyone. Anyone with half a brain cell can see this with their own eyes. Yeah, anyone with half a brain cell can see that. Just by looking at our product real quick and seeing all seven of our companies that promise things like $500 a day and 10 to 100x returns. Oh, and also the same guy who can't follow through on his bet, where you bet 
that the Paradox meta will open to at least like 20 or 30, and if it doesn't, you're changing your name to CoffeeZilla. It opened to 9 cents, and you didn't change your name to CoffeeZilla. But here, let's take a peek at the game that you were so proud of. Man, that really does look like something that is the future and has a lot of work put into it. Using so many assets, so many fucking standard packages in the, the, what is this, the Unreal Store? I can't remember. Yeah, wow, this really does look like a lot going on here. Something that could absolutely be thrown together in a matter of minutes. And a game that I'm sure we've probably played before on Steam Indie New Release Night when we go through shitty games. They're called Asset Flips. There's nothing here that screams, whole team, passion project, we're in it for the long haul with this project. Yeah, this is what everybody done. They took that clip. Things were so many all over the savvy. internet, and they was getting millions and millions in views. What was the label? I show speed promotes no scam. Yep, guys, he did. Listen to the audio yourself. Go over it again and again. Mention to us once when we said we are going to scam people. That's such a non-point. <laughs> we never said it on that stream, so it can't be true. Prove that we said it's going to be a scam. Do it, pussy. Where did I say it's a scam? Anywhere during that stream. He really thinks that those people are so dumb. He thinks his own community is so fucking dumb. If anything, I don't know if they are or not, but he really thinks I they're dumb. So much in marketing, so much in building our product, so much in paying my staff's wages. We have worked day and night for a very long time to make this business a success. And then within five He's minutes, a bit we're getting called a scam. We have been running this marketing campaign for over a year, yet nobody has ever said to us mm. that we are a scam. It's funny how the one person you guys look up to the most, that you tune into every single day of the week for you to get entertained, is the person you want to label a scam, or is it that you uh -huh. just want to associate Aisha Speed with a scam? This is cancel culture at its finest. Oh, it's hitting all the buzzwords, all the boo-hoos, the cancel culture. Don't launch a shitty, shady crypto. It's that simple. Your crypto, your Paradox Meta has like seven components, all of which make no fucking sense and are literally just actual dog shit. Time and time again, some of your biggest YouTube stars that have been cancelled every single day of the week because they take stuff out of context. This is not the case. He was not promoting a crypto scam. He was not getting used. He was not getting done. Everything that was getting done in front of your eyes no one had an issue with up until we got spammed. And That's actually not true. The smashing, like, you're already wrong. The smashing of the PlayStation 5's gotten a huge influx of L speeds. Chat immediately turned against them with the smashing of the PlayStation 5's. So, I mean, you're just not even right there either. It wasn't just L scam, it was L speed for smashing PlayStation 5's. Not only that, people that have been cancelled decided to take it upon themselves to make videos. Talking about how I should speed promoted scam coin. There was no evidence, there was no substance. If we was a scam, why would we still be here? <laughs> These are such non points. If we were a scam, we'd be in jail right now. We wouldn't even be allowed here right now if we were a scam. It was a rug pull. Why would the price not go down? We are up 600% on the first five minutes of launch. Even up until now, we are 130% up. As we're recording this video, so holy you would have fuck! Made double your money. You would have made six times your money if you bought when we launched. If we was a scam, why would that be the case? But no, nobody decided. Oh to my do god! Reset, and this is what the problem with this whole cancel culture is. Everybody wants to do the same as what everyone else does. It's easy to turn around and say Aisha Speed's a scammer because you know you get more views. So everybody took it upon themselves to go onto the internet and tell everyone. Let's cancel this guy. How is this fit? Here's a video. We're going to play the video. This video Ooh, is in is it mine? crying every single day, in, sh in tears every single day, but he still manages to continue with his live stream just to please his fans. And you guys took it upon yourselves to what? think it's funny to just troll people. 
you guys don't understand the the stuff that comes after this trolley on camera everyone has to smile nobody can show other people their fears off camera could you imagine what he's going through because we do we know exactly what's going on you're not his fucking friend he already threw you to the wolves why are you still sucking his dick speed like uh, like straight up said yeah this was a mistake like he at the very least has moved on and said yep that was bad yeah that was bad and yet here you are like, oh, we are there. We are holding him in our laps as he is crying profusely, uncontrollably because of what you guys have done to him. We see it within our own selves. We see it within our own company. We have staff members every single day that have been working on this project for the last year, going on breaks every five, 10 minutes because they just physically can't take the abuse that we're getting all over the internet. I show speed, for instance. He's not ready for this kind of trolling, sir. He is not ready for what the world is accusing him of. And he doesn't know how to respond. So I'm taking it upon myself to respond on his behalf. Oh, this is so sad now. You staked the rug pull on a 17-year-old's audience. It didn't pan out. He has now wiped his ass with your whole company. And you are still here begging for that audience to accept you by pretending like things are like close between you two. Yikes, that's embarrassing. Jesus Christ, man, have some shame. I do not blame Speed for anything that has happened to my company. I have no intentions to push the blame onto anyone He's except a prime you queen guys that decided to take it upon yourself and Chris to find it funny to troll. Guys, Understand this, in the process of trying to cancel Speed, because nobody knows who we are, well, you tried to get our own company cancelled. But this is the situation where we're at right now in 2022. It's funny to be negative, and it's not funny to be positive. So guys, understand, when we are saying this, we are not saying this because we want miraculously our token price to start going up. That would happen over the long term regardless. We are no, not we scammers. But guys, I just want to take a minute out to say to you guys, Please stop this, eh? It takes very little to just be nice. Uh, Rather than... Calling out a scam isn't just needless cancel culture hate. That's just not what it is. This is so sad. This is so fucking sad. This is a grown man. This is a very, very wealthy grown man. He's a prime panda in the resub madness. Spreading negativity, just allow it. There's no, there's nothing good that's gonna come out of it. No one is forcing anyone to buy anything. We got labeled a pump and dump. We got labeled a scam. But guys, you didn't take ten minutes to even do your own research. If you look into our tokenomics, you can see us as founders, we do not even have access to our own tokens. I can, I literally don't think there's enough numbers that exist to show how many claims have been made exactly like that, only for them to get rugged. Everyone that bought in. That is the number one claim that every crypto makes. No, founders are fully out there, very transparent. They don't, they don't even hold any. And they couldn't even get in there if they wanted to. In fact, we have protocols in place to prevent that from happening. And then bang, rug pull. Every single time. Like clockwork. Literally every single time. Still my favorite to this day, there was a Twitter account called War on Rugs, which was a Twitter account dedicated to showcasing and warning people of rug pulls in the crypto space. And then eventually they rugged their own community. So they had their own coin as well. And eventually War on Rugs was like, yep, we're taking. So they made off with millions and they made a post saying, you guys should stop blindly trusting people like this. And still, still people buy into shit like that. It's crazy. That is a nothing claim. Everything he has said so far is actually nothing. He's provided no evidence to prove that it's not a scam. He has provided nothing other than trying to guilt people and saying that it's all just bad faith trolling. For a whole year, we get nothing. So we can't dump. However, to reassure our community and everyone else that is watching, <clears throat> we will be burning all of our founders. Oh my god. 12 million. He's dollars. hitting every single you guys box. Can't say we're in it for the money. We want to reassure everyone that the false narrative that has been branded against our company name, branded against our staff, our community, 
our future investors, all the influencers involved in promoting our project. We want them to be rest assured that we are here for the long run. Guys, we have been listening. <laughs> we have seen the criticism. We will be improving on this. We are not perfect. However, we will get there. And we will continue to be as transparent as we can. We at Paradox truly believe that Web 2 and Web 3 can work alongside each other, whether you're from the crypto space or whether you're not from the crypto space. We believe there's a future in playing and games. We believe there's a future in events, whether it's YouTubers boxing or the Paradox Metaverse. Guys, we are here to stay one way or another, whether you like it, whether you don't like it. We will carry on pushing forward and we'll make sure We'll see you guys on the moon. Nice. That's so huge. <laughs> that was awful. Holy fuck. That was a big one. What a master class in how to say absolutely nothing. Now, nah, part two might clear up everything. That's probably where all the big hitters are in the part two drop. There's a resub Deadpool. Look at the comments. Even burning their founders tokens, they can't even cash out for a whole year. That shows passion and confidence in the project being 10,000, 100,000% legit. Oh, fuck me. I hope that's a bot. I hope that's not a real person. Yikes. Oh, fucking yikes. Oof. Comments aren't really on his side either. I really do wonder what the Paradox community thinks of a move like this. But it, I... I'm not going into their Discord to find out. Usually it's just a lot of people convincing themselves of absolute nonsense in order to believe that they can make money off of it. And then when it doesn't happen, they just pretend like, oh, they just got fooled by someone who was just too smart, even though the writing was on the wall right in front of their face the entire time. Thanks to Risa, Nitsua, and Katsi. In the Prime, Tim. They said they're burning founder tokens, but they can't access it. Oh, you're talking about like how they have apparently no access. They also don't hold any. They couldn't pull out even if they wanted to in a year. It, everything he said is things thousands of scams in the space have said before him. He just copied their playbook. Laser Prime, Reeve, and the Resub Ghost. And it worked? I don't know if it necessarily worked, because they've opened significantly lower than they were expecting. Like, dreadfully lower than they were expecting. So I wouldn't necessarily say it worked. I'm sure they'll make off with some money at some point, but it's definitely under where they thought they'd be. It's not that bad. I mean, I don't have any money in it, so it's not that bad for me. Nor do I really feel bad that are keeping their for the people that are keeping their money in there. I just think it's fun to laugh at. Simple as that. I'm not their accountant. I'm not their dad. I don't care if they lose all their money in it. If they want to be stupid, they can be stupid. That's fine. This was terrible though. Holy shit.
Is part two out? No. Can't get the vehicle back here. We'd be looking to arrest you now. At this point, people who lose on crypto, there's no empathy. They know it's a Ponzi and they wanted to scam others. Now they get burned. Uh, yeah, I've I've stopped having empathy for people like that, uh, except for like FTX. I feel bad for a lot of those people because I was so heavily marketed towards older people who just didn't understand it and then got scammed. But stuff like this, this is marketed to actual idiots. So when they lose money, I, it doesn't make me feel bad for them. I don't really care. That's their fault. That is entirely on them. Thanks for resub, Cookie Cat. Is powered up. Thanks for the Prime Pandas. Still V-Bucks out there and Walmart gift cards. V-Bucks are a much better investment at this point. Get into the Roblox stock market if you want to get silly with your cash. Thanks, Reese of Grease. There's a Roblox stock market. Yeah, Roblox has its own built-in stock market for kids. It's fucking crazy. <clears throat> you think Ragnarok's better than Elden Ring? Nah, they're two very different games. I, I would never, like, directly compare them and say which one's a better game overall. I think Elden Ring has more to it. Like, it's, it's so fucking close to being a perfect game, so it got my vote for Game of the Year. But God of War Ragnarok is, like, a much better... Like overall experience, it's cleaner, it's it's super fucking special, they both are. But I squeak out an edge to Elden Ring just slightly. <clears throat> Thanks to the resub. Mon Mongata. Manga magic? Yeah, I'm going to try Evil West. I'm going to give it a try. All right, I think I'm going to call it a night for tonight, though. I'm getting tired now. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. To all the new subs, welcome aboard. Sub means a lot. Enjoy those emotes. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great rest of your evening, everybody. Uh, who haven't I tossed you to in a while? <laughs>